Hey guys, welcome back to the Wonder Kid series. I'm Pepe, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to this beautiful, beautiful Wonder Kid series where we're going to be playing Aston Villa at home today. Now, straight into it, we do have quite a few players who are knackered from the last game and undergoing treatment. Um, there's quite a few injuries to be fair. Um, yeah, um, so what I've done is I've basically picked the best conditioned players to play today needs must it's not a game where um, you know we're uh, we're, we're going to struggle I think um, we've got Sancho Tonali Ndika and Miranda in the team of the week and something else as well Arp claims European Golden Boy Burnley's Fire Arp has won the European Golden Boy award um, putting a string of good performances this year, scoring 13 goals in 19 games with an average of 7.47. Bearing in mind, he's up against people like Erling Haaland in that, so he's done really well um, from Bayern Munich's second team, if you want to look at him. So, really good player. Uh, so, we're going to just have a little look at the uh, formation. Uh, McGlynn is going to get his first start today. Um, he's a Burnley youth striker, uh, Joe McGlynn, and he has been improving massively. So we're going to give him a bit, bit of a run out and um, see how he does. Tellers Magno, um, young Brazilian prospect, he's not been performing great. He's coming in and he's going to play. So let's get to the game. Okay, so Aston Villa, they've got. Wesley, Grealish, uh, Kodja, McGinn, um, yeah, Heaton in goal, quite a few really good players there, so, I think, oh, we sold them Chris Wood, didn't we, he's not played that much, um, so yeah, let's crack on with this, I've got Luke Matheson on the bench, because I don't think Aaron's is, oh, great, it's not giving us a dressing room team talk again, that's lovely, um, yeah, great. Um, yeah, I don't think Aaron's is going to be able to make full game, 92, 91 percent or whatever he is. So Luke Matheson will probably get a game for him. Here's Kodja now. So who are here? Aston Villa in this weird green and black kit. You don't often see them in. Here's Talis Magno running through the middle. Oh, looks for Fatty, but can't get there. McGlynn keeps it in, shoots. Oh, post. John McGlynn, first opportunity there. Timu Puki scored for Norwich. Standard. There's Urahain, chips this one in. Oh, it's off the bar by Codger. I think it was a foul in that. Um, come on, boys. Demand more from them. Let's close them down. Here we go. That's good closing. Hurahan has the ball. Hang on a second. If Hurahan is allowed to just dictate play like that and begin, we're going to lose. We are just not closing our players down at all here. Um. They're separating their centre halves to pass the ball out. Let's uh, let's close them down, stop them from playing out from the back. There's Codger. Good tackle by Aaron's. Followed him all the way inside. Willett gives it to Paulson. He's found Abdul Kadir. Oh, save, save by Heaton. Thought that was one nil then. Jack Grealish is uh, low condition. Yeah, we're already giving him a kick. Let's close him down and give him a kick. Uh, stick it in him. Uh, he's their danger man. So Courtney House has a storm for them. McGlynn intercepts. Abdul Kadir crosses. Fatty heads it down. Tell us Magno can't get there. Here's done. No. 
Batty gets hold of it, he cuts inside, beats his man, shoots, ah, oh, saved by Heaton. Right, I think what we're going to do is put Salas Magno up front here. Um, and attack. I think McGlynn can carry on being an advanced forward. Salas Magno also wants to be an ad advanced forward, that's a problem. How's he looking on the left wing? Better, okay. Anzi Fati, you be a Trekatista and attack then. Let's put Magno on the left and Fati in the middle. Poulsen puts this one in. Wesley heads it out, Talis Magno gives it back to Poulsen. Comes in again. Willock can't get there. Codger clears it up to Grealish. Who's held up. That's good. Hurrahane. Let's close down. Codger. Aaron's is with him. Oh, slides tackle. Good tackle, Aaron's. Ab sends Abdul Kadir through. Beats his man, beats both of them. It's going all. Oh, that was pathetic. Why didn't you just bloody cross it? Jeez. So Bjorn Engels and Conor Hurahane and picks up the yellow cards for Aston Villa. And. Andreas Poulsen has just picked one up for us. Uh, John McGinn's picked one up for them. Come on, boys. Right, dressing room. I'm not asking them to do it for the fans. <laughs> um, see none of them have performed brilliant out there so let's give him a bollocking let's say to halter um very happy with you mate there you go he didn't like being told off lucas halter did he so let's see if that makes a difference and let's just demand more from them um Oh, Tom, show some passion, actually. I used to tell them to get creative all the time, but just don't work as much. Well, it's past the hour mark. I think we're going to have to make a change here. Chris Wood's come on for them in place of Wesley. Um, let's bring on Vindal for Poulsen. Let's bring on um, Reese Nelson for Abdul Gadir. And let's bring on Vinicius for McGlynn. McGlynn's not done too much wrong to be honest but I don't know I can't see him scoring so Vinicius let's play that false nine yeah okay You know what, let's go very attacking as well. Let's let's push forward. Let's try and win the game. I always try to win the game no matter what. Sometimes we end up on the rough end of it though. Oh come on, give us a highlight. Jesus wet. I'm do I've done everything I can. Oh, football manager, that was pathetic, man. Where's my highlights? Come on, dear me. Well, there you go. Um, unfortunately, no highlights. Messi's just been named footballer of the year, standard. 
Um, however, uh, nil nil against Aston Villa. It's not a terrible result. Um, we're still in fifth in the Europa places, four points clear of Bournemouth, and seven points clear of Chelsea. Buy me eight points clear of Man United, and thirteen points clear of Tottenham. They are our bad seasons. Uh, we're level on points with Man City. I'd have took that at the start of the season uh, after 21 games. <laughs> so we're past the halfway mark now, well and truly. So find out how we do in the second half of the season. Stick with us. And Anzi Fati made his professional debut. I thought I'd played him before that. Uh, we're five unbeaten anyway. Um, four wins and a draw. So we're in quite good form. And we play Bournemouth next. Who are just below us, I think. Yeah, um, they're in 7th, we're in 5th. So come back for the Bournemouth game and I'll see you all then. Take care of yourself, thanks for tuning in and subscribing. Take care, have a good day.